Good afternoon. My name is Pete Scully. I'm the principal at Thomas Worthington High School, and it is my honor to welcome our families and friends to the virtual graduation ceremony for the class of 2020. At this time, I'd like to introduce Owen Graham, who will be attending the U.S. Air Force Academy next year to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Hello, everyone. My name is Owen Graham. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled Yeah, I just did that. Why do you carry around that stupid glass mug? And why are you drinking water out of it instead of coffee? That's just so wrong. These were just some of my favorite questions and insults. Those moments told me that I've given a kid a way in, a way past my perpetually angry looking face. The history of my glass mug problem started in a fairly simple way. Every morning, my second cup of coffee is a to-go cup in my glass mug. That alone caused some staff members to question me because I didn't have an insulated mug with a lid. And in their defense, I did often spill coffee on my clothes or in my car. A anyhow, I was usually just finishing up my coffee on my way into school. Then I would drink water out of the clear glass mug the rest of the day. I guess you could say it's a habit, but some of our students felt like it was a bad habit. It actually ended up being an accidental gift. I'm not sure if you know many middle school or high school kids, but when something doesn't fit their narrative, they tell you about it. They complain about it, they lament it. That is my glass mug. What they didn't realize is that it, that same complaint cemented my seemingly improper use of the mug. It was a hook. It was their way past the authoritarian veneer of principle. That mug built relationships and opened up dialogue. Graduates of the class of 2020, as you head out of Thomas Worthington High School and into your world, 
Find your dollar fifty cent glass mug. Find the thing that helps people relate to you, talk to you, and enjoy a laugh with you. There is no way to navigate this world alone. We need each other. We need to work together. If one annoying glass mug makes that easier, keep using it. At this time, I'd like to introduce Anna Giametta, president of the class of 2020. Welcome educators, family members, friends, and classmates. First of all, I miss you all more than I can ever express. I didn't know how much I valued the familiarity of high school life until our last quarter of senior year turned into anything but predictable. For the past 12 years I've been a student in Worthington, I've always known the class of 2020 as a very special group of young people. Reflecting on the many fond memories I have in Worthington schools over the years, there is one in particular that left a notably lasting impact on me. It was my eighth grade graduation, and a wise, eloquent English teacher of mine called me and my fellow classmates visionaries. Standing here today, I could not agree with her more. I believe part of growing up is embracing the uncharted territory ahead, and the class of 2020 has taken these months of uncertainty with absolute grace. From keeping up with classes when there is no foreseeable reward, to helping families by providing childcare, to showing up for your part-time job, we have proven our drive and resiliency as young adults. We have taken the waves of emotion and loss during this time to find ways to spread positivity throughout our community. We're checking in on each other. We're congratulating one another on our commitments to future plans. We're thinking outside the box for ways to unite and to still hold on to the little moments of senior year. I am proud to be a part of this group of students who use this time apart to come together unconventionally as the true inspiring visionaries we are. After we entered this new decade, we have faced more than we could have ever imagined possible. As you sit here and watch this ceremony from your home, I hope it brings you a little comfort through these unsettling events to know that we are making history. Now, I'm not pretending that these aren't milestones that I looked forward to and planned on experiencing in a traditional manner, but at this moment, I am filled only with pride. I am filled with absolute joy and gratitude to see all of my peers celebrate one another and to see educators supporting their students no matter where they are physically. We as a student group will come out of this stronger because we were tested but did not falter. We kept going. So join me in altering your mindset from what could have been to honor what we have accomplished and to celebrate the bright future that stands right before us. To my fellow visionaries, I am proud of you and I look forward to seeing where life takes you. I envision a plethora of successes and triumphs in our lives as these extraordinary circumstances mold us into extraordinary human beings. Well, class of 2020, this is strange, isn't it? I regret that I come to you through a video, but I hope that we can take a look back today together. Being apart for so long has challenged all of us. Quarantined days can feel like eternities or moments. And we're young, but we no longer see things in the same ways. And this got me thinking. Throughout high school, I've seen many things. My first days were a rush. The hot 2016 sun, picking up my carefully arranged class schedule, some funny social studies teacher standing at his classroom door blasting music and waving at passing students. It was all so overwhelming. But the days and weeks flew. I saw teachers bonding with students. I saw passing and some failing grades. I saw new personal records on the courses and tracks. I saw hat tricks on the fields and ice rinks. I saw first places, final shows, superior ratings, and burgeoning school pride. But it hasn't all been great. We've all had our struggles, big and small. And I know this because I've also seen loss. Lives of kids altered in ways that made many of us grow up all too quickly. And in this recent crisis, I saw a class, a community, separated at the end of its time together. 
I'm sure that if we knew that our last day together would have been some ordinary Friday in March, we all would have done things a little differently that day. We would have hugged that teacher, said goodbye to that classmate, or smiled at those quiet people in our lives. Those people who we aren't close with, but who we've come to miss seeing in the halls, the cafeteria, or our classes. It truly is these little things that make Thomas a wonderful place. So now, what do we have left? Well, that is the final thing that I have seen. Over the last two months, I've been more proud than ever to live in Worthington. In these uncertain times, I've seen a community rally together while remaining socially distant. I've seen teachers exceed their professional expectations to help students online. I've seen people determined to give us seniors a worthy send-off. I've seen friends, neighbors, and families come to support those in need, whether by doing yard work, buying groceries, or honoring a family member's last wish. By giving up many of our treasured traditions, we've likely saved lives, and we've come to understand our district motto. It's worth it. More than anything, I have seen people spreading love. And that is what makes this class so special. Through it all, we care for each other. We love each other. But we're all about to enter a world outside of our classrooms, outside of Thomas Worthington. And whether we're serving our country in Colorado, entering the workforce as talented, bright minds, or saving goals in Stanford Stadium, we'll be out there. So get out there and spread that love more. Spread it to those quiet people in your life. Spread it beyond family ties or friend groups. Make love more viral than any pandemic could ever be. I can envision that now because I've seen it happen here and I'm excited to see it happen out there. Class of 2020, I'm so proud of all of us. Thank you. Graduates, parents, grandparents, congratulations. You've satisfied the requirements set forth by the State of Ohio and the Worthington Board of Education. You've earned the right to graduate this afternoon. Today is a day of celebration, but also a day of transition. Today, you move from one phase of your life and on to another. Graduates, as you envisioned this day, you certainly envisioned something different than this. You envisioned being in the Columbus Convention Center and sitting with your lifelong friends. You envisioned walking across the stage and receiving a handshake or a hug from your chosen Worthington staff member. And I personally envisioned looking each of you in the eye and saying a sincere congratulations. As you well know, and as you will experience many times in life, what we envision and what actually occurs are often very different. In J.R. Tolkien's famous book, The Fellowship of the Ring, the character Frodo is a hobbit, and he is speaking to Gandalf, who is the wizard and the leader. Frodo says, I wish it need not have happened in my time. I'm sure all of you seniors can relate to that today. I wish COVID-19 had not happened in my time. As adults, we wish it had not happened in your special time. Gandalf, the wizard and the leader, he responds to Frodo and he says, so do I. And so do all who live to see such times, but that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what we do with the time that is given us. So we wish things had turned out differently, but sometimes in life, what we cannot control, how things turn out, but what we can control is how we choose to respond. 
as you graduate from Worthington schools and move on to the next phase of your life, this lesson will remain with you. You'll be tested often. Some things will go your way and other things won't. How you choose to respond will determine the success you see in life. Whether you want to start a business, build a winning team, raise great kids, provide safe drinking water in Africa, help the homeless, find a cure for cancer, educate children, or just create a more peaceful world. Adversity and conflict will be part of your story as you strive to achieve your goal. As Gandalf said, all we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. And so when things don't happen as we envisioned, I believe every one of us has a choice between two roads, the positive road and the negative road. The positive road, it leads to joy and success and fulfillment. The negative road leads to failure, negativity, and despair. The negative road will tell you that you aren't strong enough, good enough, successful enough, wealthy enough, happy enough, smart enough, talented enough. Well, guys, I say enough with that conversation. Instead, choose the positive road. Know the truth about yourself. You have everything you need inside you to be successful. You weren't meant to be average. You have a desire to be great because you were created and born to do great things. You have a purpose. There's a plan for your life. You may be going through a hard time this spring, but you will get through this. It looks like the end of the world, but it isn't. This too shall pass. The truth is we can't control the events in our life, but we can control how we respond. Choose the positive road. You are well prepared. You have a Worthington education. You have a community that loves you and is here to support you today, tomorrow, and into your future. As you go off and you change the world, we will be here watching. And after you have found your great success, I'd ask that you remember Worthington. It's important to give back to the community that has given so much to you. I wish it need not have happened in my time, said Frodo. So do I, said Gandalf, and so do all who live to see such times. But that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. Choose the positive road, graduates, and go change the world. Today, you join the over 40,000 living alumni of Worthington Schools. Welcome to our club. Congratulations. At this time, I would like to formally recognize the 18 students who are graduating after having received all A's in four years of high school. So please stand or dance or scream or whatever makes sense in your house as I call your name. Brooke Ackley, Keegan Ballantyne, Jason Berghardt, Jack Kane, Sydney Cropper, Deep Gupta, Liam Kane, Abby Midnight, J.D. Mooney, Dean Orloff, Phoebe Saboli, Claire Schultz, Abby Sharkis, Cassidy Shaver, Nathan Skeen, Anna Stevenson, Olivia Truman, and Elena Vance. Please join me in congratulating these students for their dedication to learning and their commitment to our school. Not only do we read all A's, but there's a special award that we give called the Jefferson Award. It was started in 1941 when C. Frederick Jefferson donated $5,000 to the Worthington Board of Education. Mr. Jefferson requested that each year the interest from this amount be donated to a Worthington senior who had both all A's and the most A's. The student who achieved the all A's and most A's status 
was described by their English teacher as a passionate, confident, and determined student, driven to excel, and when he sets his mind to something, it is accomplished with great success. The student boasted a transcript that had a whopping 10 AP courses, 10 honors courses, and 63 A's. This student earned an ACT score in the top 2% in the nation and boasted a 4.268 cumulative GPA. This student plans on attending Cornell University in the fall. Please help me congratulate Liam Kane. The Thomas Worthington High School Hall of Fame was founded during the 1955-56 school year with its own set of rigorous bylaws. The committee is very clearly defined as a committee of 11 people, five staff members chosen by staff vote, five students, the three underclassmen presidents and two senior representatives chosen by the committee. The high school principal is the facilitator of the committee and also has one vote. Students are nominated by their junior and senior peers through an anonymous ballot. The top nominees are referred to the committee for discussion and ultimately a consensus decision. We are not required to elect anyone, but encouraged to keep the number at one and are not permitted to exceed three by the bylaws. Staff members and community members are also nominated to the committee by the staff at Thomas Worthington High School for their outstanding and selfless service to our school community. Those nominations are discussed and the committee determines whether to award the appointment to the Hall of Fame. Our student guidelines expect us to review the following points about our student nominees. Number one, ability and conscientious acceptance of responsibility in athletic and co-curricular activities. Number two, ability to get along with others. Number three, academic rating. Four, wholesome attitudes and citizenship. Five, high morals. Six, sportsmanship in the home, school, and community. Seven, honors received. Eight, overall contribution to Thomas Worthington High School. There were two students the committee decided to recognize for the Hall of Fame award. The first senior was described by a teacher as intelligent, brave, strong, and determined. The senior boasts a 4.15 GPA, is actively involved in varsity athletics, is a freshman mentor, sixth grade camp counselor, and a member of diversity club. Adults and students commented on this student going out of her way to help others and be a friend to them. Her huge smile, maturity, humility, and strong leadership will be missed at Thomas Worthington High School. This senior could be described as loving kids, as a nanny and a babysitter, a great soccer player, she will be attending Stanford on a full athletic scholarship, and valuing family. Please join me in congratulating Michaela Gustler. Our second Hall of Fame student nominee is also a well-rounded person with heavy involvement at Thomas Worthington High School. The senior has been actively involved in athletics as a multi-sport athlete, student council, and various clubs and activities at Thomas Worthington. He has been president of his class for three years and is currently the student, student body president. He will be attending OSU and was recently awarded the Morell Scholarship, which is a full tuition scholarship for academically talented students who are engaged in leadership, service, and social justice activities. Please join me in congratulating your student body president, Dean Orloff. The committee waded through several staff and community members and decided to induct two. Students described the first person as someone who is really easy to work with, always kind, and a definite friendly face. One student said, only met her a few times, but she was always really nice and helped me. Staff member is a veteran employee of Worthington Schools, and colleagues said things like, she is a lifesaver. I can't imagine Thomas Worthington without her. She was so forgiving, helpful, and the sweetest voice on the phone when I'm often in a stressful situation. She's really comfortable behind the scenes and really effective behind the scenes. I had the pleasure of meeting her when I was a young teacher at Thomas Worthington. We both commuted from the west side around the same time. I'm excited to congratulate my west side friend, Jill Burkholder, on her nomination to the Hall of Fame. Students described the second nominee as a person who 
is surprisingly a really nice, caring person. Someone who I know I can talk to even when the topic isn't something I'm really excited to share. A really safe person. Someone who cares about me. That means a lot. Colleagues describe the person as deeply embedded, practically a living history of this community and school. A leader in his community and a person who loves this place. And the final one, he is Thomas Worthington. Even though he'd probably be trying to convince you that everything in education that is good started in Worthington, he is one of those good things that persists in our school. Congratulations, coach. Congratulations, council member. Congratulations, Mr. Worthington. Please join me in congratulating Scott Gordon for his selection to the Thomas Worthington Hall of Fame. Ms. Hudson, I stand before you to verify that the members of the class of 2020 who are named today have met the criteria necessary to earn a diploma as stipulated by the Ohio Revised Code, the Worthington Board of Education, and Thomas Worthington High School. I am urging you to accept the members of the class of 2020 and deem them eligible to have their diplomas conferred upon them. Thank you, Mr. Scully. On behalf of the Worthington Schools Board of Education and as president of the board, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us for the class of 2020's virtual commencement ceremony. From our district administration to our high school administrators and faculty, to family and friends near and afar, we gather to celebrate you, our graduating students. Now we've highlighted some of the academic and athletic achievements of the class of 2020, all of which are remarkable. Equally remarkable are your acts of kindness. From participating in the freshman mentorship program, to setting up houses for individuals who were previously homeless, to raising funds to buy holiday gifts for kids in an impoverished school district, to merely listening to that friend who felt like the weight of the world was on their shoulders. You have made a difference in the lives of your friends, in our community, and the world around you. These altruistic acts are just a few examples of how you've demonstrated the value and importance of being kind. May you never forget what a difference you can make in the lives of others. The powerful ripple effect of kind deeds. Your ability to change the world by just sharing the kind person that you are. In the words of Naomi Shiab Nye, the river is famous to the fish. The loud voice is famous to silence, which it knew would inherit the earth before anybody said so. The cat sleeping on the fence is famous to the birds watching him from the birdhouse. The tear is famous briefly to the cheek. The idea you carry close to your bosom is famous to your bosom. The boot is famous to the earth more famous than the dress shoe, which is famous only to floors. The bent photograph is famous to the one who carries it and not at all famous to the one who is pictured. I want to be famous to shuffling men who smile while crossing streets, sticky children in grocery lines, famous as the one who smiled back. I want to be famous in the way a pulley is famous or a buttonhole not because it did anything spectacular, but because it never forgot what it could do. On behalf of the entire Board of Education, it is with great pride that I accept the remarkable and kind Thomas Worthington High School Class of 2020. Congratulations, Cardinals. Brooke Ackley. Kenneth Adams Gabriella Aday Godwin Ajay Darla Akosa James Albrecht Alexander Alexic James Allison Corinne Alston 
Rose, Altizer. Akshay, Aluga Belly. Ashley, Avarado, Dominguez. Obed, Amaning, Yaboa. Michael, Amoa. Miles, Amoa. Kweku, Amo. Wiseman, Amponsa. Sarah, Anderman. Elias, Anderson. Sydney, Ankrum. Ashley, Anor. Chase, Arrigo. Griffin, Bailey. Yashar, Bakshai Sarand. Keegan, Ballantyne. Stephen, Baeza. Hajayabu, Bangura. George, Bear. Justin, Barlow. Mackenzie, Barrett. Gage, Beavers. Jeffrey Beck. Tara Bennington. Jacob Bevan. Saloni Baggett. Jacob Bihari. Harrison Blake. Elizabeth Boley. Sophia Bonija. Nathan Borghese. Anthony Bowers. Hannah Bradburn. Evers Brandt. Alfredo Bravo. Jamari Brewer. Miranda Broll. Sabrina Broncano. Ashley Brooks. Joseph Brown. Kristen Brown. Milo Brown. Thomas Bryan. Dominic Budimirovich. Jaina Bullard. Jason Berghardt. Kevin Berghardt. Micah Burton. Mitchell Button. Marlene Cabrera Solis. Jack Kane. Alexander Campbell. Riley Cannon. Elizabeth Cardenas Echevarria. Sean Carey. Grant Carpenter. Devin Carter. Evelyn Grace Carter. Susie Carter. Jacob Carver. Isaiah Caver. 
Landon Chase. Lila Chia. Jackie Chen. Joanne Chen. Chung Yin Choi. Martha Clapp. Emma Klum. Andrew Cochran. Joshua Ko Jr. Jude Ko. Judith Coelho. Ashley Colomer. Ibrahim Conti. Vanessa Contreras. Sean Cook. Sydney Cook. Megan Cooper. Trevor Cornell. Graham Covert. Desmond Kraft. Sydney Cropper. Jocelyn Cruz. McRae Curran. Eliana Dower. Nadia Davis. Angela Deaver. Georgia Dietrich. Caitlin Deminoff. Jacob DeWeese. Camilla Denuso. Jacob Dickman. Lillian Do Wien. Aliana Dodara. Riley Dodson. Carter Donaldson. Edward Doty. Haley Dowdy. Aiden Driscoll. Caden Duffy. Jaden Dogger. Griffin Eaton. Johanna Egan. Hayat Alhajamar. Nada Alhajamar. Taylor Elkins. Anna Emtich. Chloe Engel. George Erickson. Moki Essa. Nisa Etienne. Kobe Fair. Jonathan Pieros Valdivia. Dominic Finnegan. Anna Finsel. Callie Flood. Pamela Flores Sanchez. Victoria Prancini. Selena Freeman. Garrett Friesen. Wyatt Fry. Ari Fukagawa. 
James Gators III, Hayden Garrett, Kayla Bentor, Anna Giametta, Carrion Gilliam, Yaritza Gonzalez Martinez, Nilama Gopinath, Iris Gould, Owen Graham, Alexander Graves, Emerson Grueling, Natalie Grover, Ava Gilkey, Dipendu Gupta, Michaela Gussler, Ivan Gutierrez, Henry Guy, Gary Guzman, Ethan Hahn, Marina Hanna, Angela Harper, Nicholas Harris, Mallory Hartzell, Samuel Hartwick, Basil Hassan, Rayon Hassan, Samantha Haunty, Jayon Hayes, Christine Hayes, Eleanor Hedberg, Zachary Held, Madison Helm, Jonathan Hernandez, Jorge Herrera Zoy, Genevieve Hertz, Andrew Hindle, Adrian Hine, Alexandra Hine, Taven Holcomb Green, Andrew Holman, Ryan Hoops, Ellie Hodling, Ethan Hughes, Nicholas Hunley, Jordan Hunt, Ismahan Hussein, Jay Husfar, William Hutchison, Bailey Ingalls, Morgan Ives, Mia Jablonski, Dion Jacks, Caden Jackson, Luke Jackson, Ali Jallo, Angelica Janicek, Zubin Jaw, Sebastian John, Marika Johnson, Owen Jones, Reagan Jones, 
Liam Kane. Edward Karagizian. Perry Cargiatis. Elizabeth Carmick. Owen Kale. Kyle Kemp. Emma Kim. Caden Kirker. Marshall Kaiser. Ethan Kissel. Hannah Klein. Mackenzie Nicely. Helen Knotts. Chloe Cosell. Emma Kosiba. Alice Kolwitz. Ethan Kuntz. Savannah Cruz. Natalie Lamakia. Harry Landwer. Jalen Lane. Lucas Lassican. Trevor Law. Gregory Laws. William Lee. Madeline Leitenberg. Paul Lilly. Leah Lindemeyer. Jacob Litton. Sarah Lojudas. Matthew Lohr. Juliana Lewison. Jacob Lyle. Reagan Macerello. Gustavo Muchado. Deborah Maforican. Jennifer Mangum. Brendan Manning. Hawa Mansare. Zachariah Mansare. Dominic Marsh. Pablo Martinez Gill. Brenda Martinez. Maya Massica. Ethan Mason. Edric Mateo Morales. Bella Matos. Ruby Matthews Napper. Gretchen May. Luke Manus. Nicholas McCarthy. Matthew McDevitt. Nicholas McGinnis. Gwendolyn McCann. Emma McKeegan. Gabrielle McKellips. Madison McKnight. Marcus McMillan. Anna McNabb. Helena Michalski. Vaughn Michelle. 
Abigail Midnight Catherine Uzieski Elia Mild Jake Miller Lydia Miller Lily Millwater Andres Mira James Mitchell III Cody Moffitt Sekria Mohammed Cesar Monhe Khadija Muhadin James David Mooney Adriana Morietti Abigail Morris Fatima Mosavi Abigail Moulton Mohammed Mubarak Adrian Murray Olivia Murray James Myers Luis Narcisco Flores Jessica Navarro Mendez Elliot Nelson Tran Nguyen Natha Nojatan Cordelia Noonan Ava Oberly Joseph Old Taylor Oliver Elaine Ando Alexi Orbovic Dean Orloff Gabriel Ortega Charles Osborne Alexandria Otworth Connor Pack Luke Paquette Samuel Parker Austin Parsons Ian Pasco Harrison Pasquinelli Banti Patel Sloan Phelan Stephanie Pineda Cervantes William Pascal Samantha Pratt Abdullah Cutifan Kishan Ramsey Carson Rank Andrew Rayner John Reed Lyndon Reed Smith Erica Reeves Austin Rim Robert Rhodes Allison Rice Ruby Richardson Brian Richter Savannah Ricks Jillian Rigert 
Michaela Riley, Alexander Ritchie, Aiden Robinson, Dylan Robinson, Corey Robinson, Wish Roper Smith, Madeline Ross Withrop, Casey Runyon, Ethan Ryan, Phoebe Saboli, Fartoon Sandere, Celeste Sanfrey, Alia Sater, Liliana Sauceda, Caleb Shearing, Theory Schroeder, Claire Schultz, Annalise Scott, Hannah Scott, Alexander Seitz, Abigail Sharkus, Cassidy Shaver, Shahed Shihada, Nathan Skeen, Dayon Smith, Nathan Smith, Joseph Snodgrass, Jelani Solomon, Nia Spear, Imani Spencer, Rosa Spurgeon, Grace Squires, Duncan Sersick, Samuel Steele, Elizabeth Steffens, Anna Stevenson, Cole Stiver, Sophia Stockhausen, Jacob Sanseri, Haven Tattersall, Nina Tadras, Audrey Taylor, Derek Taylor, Grace Chungan, Andrew Thompson, Christopher Tongseva, Mayan Thornton, Mariana Tahul, Myra Torres Arellano, Masiri Torre, Joshua Towns, Judith Triplett, Olivia Truman, Sophia Tyler, Ishita Udgirkar, Chloe Ullman, Cecilia Valenzuela, Elena Vance, Isabella Vasquez, Gavin Wallace, Ivy Ward, 
Landon Ward. Elizabeth Warner. Mia Cyan Webster. Eleanor Weicker. Ian Wells. Heaven Wilkerson. Emma Wentz. Vaco Winkler. Haley Winnenberg. Juliana Withy. Jackson Wolf. Noah Woods. Ayana Wren. Shalia Wright. Jake Wablock. Christian Wakob. Alexander Yang. Benjamin Yates. Mohammed Zaki. Tate Zodi. Delson Zuvalekov. At this time, we would like to invite all members of the class of 2020 to please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you the Thomas Worthington graduates of the class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. 